Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, you've done your long distance relationship and now you guys are closing the distance in your long distance relationship. You're coming back together. Today I'm going to talk about the things that you should consider when you're closing the distance in your long distance relationship. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your very first video in this series, I definitely have a series of long distance relationship videos. So go ahead and check those out. They will definitely be down in the description box below. And of course, I'll have the eye up here at some point, and you can click the eye to watch the videos as well. So I have six things to consider after you are closing the distance on your long distance relationship. So the very first thing is that the dynamics of your relationship will absolutely change. All of that free time that you had by yourself will more than likely no longer be. All of the times that you were able to just get up and go whenever you wanted to go might have to be scaled back a bit more. You're going to have to take your partner's um, thoughts and them wanting to hang out with you or your dating schedule all into play now. So the dynamics of your relationship is going to change, especially when you go offline to now face to face because doing Skype, doing FaceTime, you basically you're online because they're not physically there. So your face to face dynamics are absolutely going to change. That doesn't have to be a bad thing either. It could be a great thing. The second thing to think about is that you will absolutely be discovering so many new things about your boo because now even if you live with them before this is still a different time in you guys' relationship. And you will be discovering new things about them because just like you were out there learning and having fun doing your own thing physically without your partner being there, your partner was doing the exact same thing. So because of that, they might have picked up more habits that you don't necessarily care for, but just learning new things about them. Maybe they learned that they love the opera and were able to do that. Maybe they learned that they loved skiing. Maybe they learned that they loved comedy and improv. Maybe they're the one who's up on the stage. So there are going to be new things that you learn about your boo once you guys close the distance in your long distance relationship. The third thing that you have to think about is all of those differences that I'm talking about, they are now gonna be there to smack you in the face. <laughs> all of those things that may have annoyed you about your boo, but you didn't necessarily have to deal with it on a regular basis. All of those things are now going to be heightened because you are going to physically see them on a consistent, almost everyday basis. And that can be a very, very eye-opening experience. <laughs> That's the way I'll put that. It can be very eye-opening because you didn't have to deal with those things on a day-to-day -day basis. And now they are there to smack you in the face. Okay? <laughs> the fourth thing to think about is that your communication, again, is going to change as well. Not only the dynamics in your relationship are going to change, but absolutely your communication, your communication styles are going to change. Because maybe when you were online uh, or via text or whatever, email, whatever avenue that you guys used, when you got ticked off at your partner, maybe you had hours to not just, just I'm not going to respond right now. But now that you guys are face to face, you have to deal with said issue sooner. You can't use, you know, um, I was out or on the project or whatever it was that you were using before. You have to deal with those things immediately now. And immediately just means, you know, not the same, not the time frame that you had before. Maybe even because the time zone was different, you were able to respond like a day later. When y'all face to face, you responded within a few hours, or you know, as um, soon as you get home from work. <laughs> so your communication styles are definitely going to change once you two get back face to face. The fifth thing to do or to think about is to absolutely discuss what your expectations are from one another. Um, specifically, when they come back in town, you need to understand and know, do you guys plan on just 
whoever's gone, do they plan on coming to move into your place? Are you guys going to move into a place together? Or are you guys going to actually stay separate? Maybe you guys are both moving to a new city to be with one another, but you don't necessarily want to move in together. Maybe you guys are deciding to stay in separate housing in the new city so you guys can learn the city outside of each other, but still date and see each other on a more consistent basis to see if you guys want to take the next step, which is the actual engagement, marriage, let's move in together step. Know your expectations. Do not assume. Do not assume. Do not assume. Ask a multitude of questions. Anything that you are thinking about is something that you expecting your other your partner to know. They are not a mind reader. So you have to talk to your partner. You have to tell them your expectations and they have to tell you theirs. So you two can continuously communicate and understand and know what the other person wants and needs. And if it's not matching up, then y'all two can come to some type of a compromise. But don't assume, ask questions, and just know what the expectations of the other person is. The sixth one is the best one. Now you get to have a lot more sex, okay? You ain't got to wait all of those months in between. and <laughs> You know what I mean? So, so now you get to get in those sheets more often. <laughs> get in those sheets often yeah <laughs> anyway these are some of the things that I wanted you guys to think about once you have closed the distance in your relationship oh another thing this is a bonus you don't have to answer all of those crazy questions all of those um, invasive questions that your friend and family once had about your long distance relationship because now the person is face to face and now they get to really build a relationship with your boo as well if they haven't already so these are the tips that i wanted to give to you guys today what did you think about them do they make sense to you is there something that you can actually add to the table i would definitely want to read your comments down in the comment section below definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video and of course if you like this series i have other series and other topics and everything going on especially if this is your very first time here consider subscribing because this is a channel where i am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy healthy romantic relationships so we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you again in the future. Deuces.